Hey guys, and welcome back. I'm Ken, and I work on the OpenZD project where this new Xerox sharing platform was created. And I want to give you a series of really short videos that just show normal everyday use of Xerox. And uh, hopefully that gives you some, it, that gets you interested, and you can look at the docs and the sign up page to get started. Um, but I'm going to jump right in since I'm already signed up and I've already got two computers enabled. And so the scenario that I'll illustrate here is if we split our screen right down the middle from top to bottom, then we've got a left side and a right side. And on our numbers one and two on the left side over here, that represents my laptop. And on the right side, number three, is my remote computer where I've got some important stuff that I need to copy to my laptop. So real quick, this if you've already got Xerox installed and enabled on multiple devices, this will show you how you could copy a file between any two computers using terminal commands, and then we'll hop into the equivalent with a web browser uh, using the same foundational setup. Okay, so on the remote computer, the first thing I need to do is start a share. So I'm gonna hop up here to uh, pane zero on the right side and do Xerox share public. Now I'm sending an extra option back in mode web because I actually want to run a web server in the current directory. So that gives us a terminal UI with a public URL, which I will copy to my clipboard and What's happening here is that on the remote computer, we now have a share for this directory because I was in the same temp Xerox directory when I ran that command. And so the only thing I have here is this Ken test file, which has con which says inside important stuff I need to copy to my laptop. Okay, so we're all set up on the remote computer with a public sharing URL that I have on my clipboard. And so, now we just need to, um, we can actually ignore that top pane for now because we uh, are in that same directory. We don't have anything in that directory. And so I can just use my curl uh, command line user agent. I'll make it quiet and we'll just see what's there. So on the right side, we can see that the get request came in and we can actually see the contents there. So now I'll say, wget to download the pen test file and we see that that request came in now we see that we have the file and we can read the contents there so that's how i would get it in a terminal using a public share and so at the same time i since i still have that public share url on my clipboard i'll go paste that into my web browser and we can see here that we have a Ken test file. So if I click on that, there's the contents of the file. I could save that if I wanted to. The browser is just gonna do whatever it does with that, with the detected file type. But uh, that's how that works. All right, so that is how public sharing works. You get, you run the command on the remote computer where you want to get stuff from that gives you the public url then you can access it from anywhere it's it doesn't require authentication to get to it so it's bias is for openness and sharing it's supposed to make it easy to get to things and i showed you how to use the back-end web mode which doesn't require you to run a separate server on your computer where you want to get stuff from all right that's the focus demo for public sharing with the built-in web web server and I'll be back with another use case right after this.